guys know what day it is. It's Thursday. If you couldn't tell by this big old gigantic Mac Tools truck. Anyway, let's see what he's got. Come on. Thursday all day and if it was only Friday <laughs> I'm just happy it's Thursday one day closer to Friday it's been a week this week so has been a long week but at least it ain't scorching hot like it was so yes I thankfully plus too much charging you that's that motion detector line ain't it? it is it is. It, uh, last week I didn't have any lights in the back, so I had work lights set up everywhere. <laughs> had some wires burn up in the wall that uh, I ended up having to tear the whole wall out Sunday and uh, go in and replace all those. So it was mm. a job. That sucks. So. Oh, yeah. Everybody's coming on last week. What'd you do? Not pay the power bill? <laughs> I wish it was that simple. <laughs> Sa saving that diesel fuel. Well, huh? you got plenty of chargers up here, looks like. Yeah, got in a bunch of new battery stuff. Uh, stuff finally starting to come in again. We'd had a lot yeah. on back order and a lot of show stuff starting to piddle on in and well, you must have sold all them impacts because they was lined up all the way back here. Yeah. Got in some more of the big battery, the big battery tool kits, the Mac half, three eighths, quarter, bit driver, uh, drill, light. Got in several of those kits and then just the regular half inch kits and three eighths kits and all cool. that good stuff. Well, waiting on some more of the DeWalt th new 3.8 deal to come back in. Man, those things been selling like crazy. Yeah, they're nice. I Everybody's like loving them. They are nice. I even having several people starting to buy that's got the 3.8s that are starting to get the half inch to go with it. Mm -hmm. I've thought about it, but I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I wish it was a little more power difference. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like if it was 600 foot pounds or Throw 800 foot pounds or something, yeah. you know, it would it would make that choice a whole lot easier. Mm -hmm. Put an sure. adapter on it and just go for it. Yeah, that's yep. true. Well, what new stuff you got in? Got anything new? Getting some of the flyer stuff in and uh, some of the the new Mac lights that. I'm, I want to say I've had some of these before, but it's been a while that I have. Pretty neat light, you know, rechargeable. And, so it's sort of like a Streamlight? Kind of, yeah. I guess it'd be like the Streamlight Stryon, not the Stinger. Mm -hmm. um, pretty good little lights. I've done well with them in the past. Um, comes with the rechargeable batteries and all with it and charger. and um, I want to say right now, if you buy that and you get the I'd have to look flyer you get the pin light with it yeah man it's just hard for me not to buy a stream light you know yeah it's just hey it's I hard mean to beat them man you know for the price and they've been around forever they know what they're doing the and they don't they care what it. you do how you turn them up they'll fix them put it in know, a box and send it to them no big deal but it's hard to beat a stream light my dad's had one I know for 10 years Mm -hmm. And the bulb went bad in it. He said, man, he said, I think my lights don't quit. I said, I screenshot the address, sent it to him. I said, said put it in a box and send it to him. Mm -hmm. He said, that's all I got to do? He said, I said, yeah. I said, it's warranty, you know. Um, he called me about, well, it was probably three, four weeks later. He called me one day and he's like, 
can you believe they sent me that light back and didn't charge me nothing? <laughs> it's like, I told you, it's warranty. Yep. Learn, learn I just again. can't believe it. I've had that thing for 10 years. It's so. hard to believe that they could, you know, like, even like the little $30 double A ones. Like, man. You know, and I know a lot of guys that had rather have those than the, you know, the recharger ones. They're so much lighter. Me, I'd rather have the recharger one. It's brighter, too. But, you know, that's what they like. And, like, the first strain light that I had was blue, and it didn't have any paint left on it. Like, it done wore off completely silver, and the tail switch wasn't working in it. Mm -hmm. So I get on the Snap-on truck one day, because I bought it from him. I said, man, my light, like, you could bang it, and sometimes it come on, you know. And he just reached up there and handed me a brand new one off the, the rack. You know, I was like, here you go. Yeah. Like, wow. Pretty good. He didn't even try to swap the tail piece out. He's the like, cap on it or nothing? I'll just send it back. It'll, it'll be all right. They'll give me another one. Yeah. I was like, well, can't beat that. I don't know if we've ever showed one of these or not. I got one of those in the other day. I've had a guy been asking for one, so I ordered one in. I know everybody's familiar with all the power probe mm -hmm. stuff. But it's good stuff, too. If you're dealing with the trailer lights or 18 wheeler trailers or anything like that where you got a lot of long wire runs, I mean, and mm -hmm. I've even, I got people that use them in the automotive side of it too, but when you can hook that to your power source and get into the right wire that you need and just take your little deal and yep. follow down through there. Yeah. I've got the power probe kit. They come out with one that's got that in the box with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's nice, you know, just to, because it'll have an arrow showing you where the shorty is. Like, yeah. And when you get to it, it's like, right yep. here it is. And that thing is, it's really nice. Whenever you trying to find that short and breaking the wire, it's, especially mm -hmm. when you got a long run to go and don't want to have to peel wire loom. And I've always said if a guy does electrical work, he needs to have a good meter, a power probe. He needs to have the... Um, a guy named Dan that invented it, but it tests the entire circuit under load, and um, like you know, you may test a wire and you got 12 volts there, but mm -hmm. when you put a load on it, it, it won't carry it. Right. You know? And I can't remember what that thing is called, because they've got like the real brand that he invented. That's this the name of it. Like the Load Pro. Deal? Load Pro is what it yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. I've sold several of those. Which I've got the generic. Well, I mean, I think he makes them, but it's, it was sold through Napa instead of with his name on it. Right. But, man, those things are, they're nice. So we had a Cherokee in there. We was working on 12 volts, but it would not carry the headlights. And it ended up being a, like the wire was broken. It must have just been a few strands that mm -hmm. was connecting. Enough you to checked show. checked it with a test light. Show voltage. Like, All right. I got power. Yeah. Well, then you're like, okay, it's our ground. So then you check your ground side. You're like, oh, wait a minute, what's going on here? And then we put the load probe on it, and it's like, okay, it can't carry the load. So we we had to, you know, replace the wire in it. But man, that thing is very, very handy. Yeah. We did a video on it showing how easy it is to work. There's a lot of good comments on it. I'll I'll put a card up there at the top, and that way you guys can see it if you haven't. But it's it's a pretty cool tool. Talk to your tool guy and get one of them and. Save yourself a lot of trouble, you know. I've sold several of those at truck shops. I've mm -hmm. never really sold many of them on the automotive side of it. But. Yeah. Reefer door switches are bad, too. You know, like the ones that turn the light on if the doors are open. And they're, I don't know if it's because of the temperature or if it's because of maybe the long span. You know, it's a lot of chance of getting damaged from the back of a reefer all the way right. to the front. But it seems like, you know, you'd have a lot of trouble with the wiring in the, in the reefer door switches. And, you know, that, 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 that would tell you if it's and good. Cold and, and the moisture buildup in it right. or something, you know. That'd tell you if it's good from the front of the trailer to the back. And a lot of times, you know, you'd put that on there and be like, oh, we got, you know, it's good. And it ended up being a stick, you know, the switch sticking or just corrosion on it, you know, from the negative 32 degrees mm -hmm. up to... 90 when they park it with the yeah. doors open or whatever, you know, but it's a very valuable tool. Y'all struggling to get product. It's gotten slow again. Yeah, that sucks. I seen where GM's talking about having to back off production of 
all their trucks and stuff because they're having trouble with chips and then uh peter built or pack car industries peter built in kenworth is canceling orders because i can't get enough parts to build a complete truck I believe it. so that sucks i believe it they want to go over and ramp china up ain't they something <laughs> i don't know that's uh, bad america falls because china's struggling try keeping everybody taken care of best we can and How's your RBRT stuff? Is it staying pretty strong? Yeah. Like yeah. Keeping up with it? Yeah. That's good. It, uh, there's a couple that I'm waiting to come in. Um, just some odd and end stuff. But it, uh, with RBRT, it's, there's so many different, uh, there's so many different sets that, yeah. you know, you look back here and you think, Okay, well, I, I have that one. And yeah, then, like all of that's RBRT. Yeah, and then I got like three drawers in here that are back stock RBRT in this box. and But then you go to looking for something that you, when somebody asks for it, it's like, well, oh, crap, I thought I had that one, you know. Yeah. Or, well, I got two more left. I don't need to reorder that one. And then you don't have it. So it's. Yeah, they got a lot of, a lot of different kits. And, you know, some of them's pretty close, you know, it's just. Right. They added some medium size or longer bits or whatever, yeah. but I had a guy message me asking about them. I'm like, dude, they're well worth the money. Like, don't hesitate. I know it sucks paying that much up front, but they're worth the money. Like, oh, just are. use them and say your regular torques or your regular hex, and it'll save you a lot of trouble going forward, you know. I said, you know, I've already proved that they work. If it can be taken out, they work where everything else will fail. I said, now, if you got cheap Chinese screws, like I did a video where they didn't, they couldn't take them out of a planer, that we, a planer we was working on, but it was the screws fault. It was cheap Chinese yeah. screws and like it ripped the guts out of it, but it wasn't RBRT's fault. It was the, yeah. the screws wouldn't, it was just soft metal, you know, so it, uh... if they can come out, they'll get them out. It'll get them out or break them off, one of the two. I'm starting now to wear, as, as the RBRT stuff's starting to get more known, um, having a lot more maintenance departments mm -hmm. call and ask for it. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, whether it's furniture plant maintenance or, right. you know, industrial maintenance or things like that, it's it's starting to be more of a known item other than just the mechanical field mm -hmm. and i can definitely see you i mean because dude it sucks when you strip out a torch or allen it sucks you know and if it's in a piece of equipment where you can't get in there to weld a nut on mm -hmm. it to get it out that sucks even worse <laughs> yep <laughs> then you're the drilling and tapping you know and oh uh, and even on the robotic side of it mm -hmm. that they're wanting l keys and t handles and yeah. well you know they're making such tiny rbrt tips now you know bits yep. that it's gonna be where if you don't have a set like it's your own fault you yeah know? it uh i mean I, I mean you can see how many of the l key sets i keep right mm -hmm. there i mean and then the bit sets and all that so yeah it uh well is the little bit set a pretty good seller um you know versus the 121 piece yeah or does people still go to it more I've sold several of them just for the simple fact of people are like, well, I don't need the screwdrivers. I've already got the screwdrivers. Or, mm -hmm. well, I don't want to spend 300 bucks. I'll spend 170 Yeah. You know. That's true. Uh, and I couldn't tell you how many of those things I've sold for the people that just want to take them home to put with their gun stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean. Makes sense. Or, and I got a couple customers that are into, like, RC stuff. Mm -hmm. little rc cars and things like that that love them yeah that makes sense because if it's got an allen or a hex and you know what's sad too you spend a lot of money on a scope and then it's the same thing those cheap chinese fasteners yep. it's super soft metal and mm -hmm. after it's been on there a while you know how aluminum does when it's matched it's up with steel you know it's, yeah, it's yeah, that I mean, corrosion it's, in it and man, it's like the absolutely it's like gonorrhea Loctite. You can't get rid of it. You know, it's there. So, yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, I never heard it put that way, but yeah. It is what it is.
but um well i guess we're gonna get in here and get going this morning it's been one of them it's hard to get cranked up this morning i'm struggling it's this weather man struggling Mike, shake his head crud i'd be a lot better drink you some of that liquid gold in them kentucky heels and yeah. fix it yeah It'll so. it'll either fix it or key you one of the one two. Or the other, but mean, either way, you're out of your misery with it. Pretty much. So Alright guys, like always, thanks for hanging out with us on this awesome Thursday morning. We're finna get a bunch of rain, so that's gonna suck even worse. But on the bright side tomorrow's Friday, right? So like always guys, thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up if you like the video, check out here merchandise, cool tools and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button. You guys have a great week. See ya.